We try and get Colby Armstrong as many times as we can. He is a busy dude. He's joining us from the hockey office's site of trade deadline yesterday. Colby, how you feel? You get your electrolytes in you after yesterday? Like, how do you recover? Or are you just going to rip my photo? What would you like to do first? What would you like to do first? You Buddy, can see let's, get the, let's do the photo. Let's do the photo. Okay, okay. I know what just came into my head? You know, like those mashups that they do of like, you know, like Ovechkin, Backstrom, and they mash their faces together, but it's always something kind of like, I kind of feel like that, like that that's what it looks like. Like, it's like not real. Like you've mashed two faces together yeah. and come what, up with this. But what two this. faces do you think are being mashed? I don't like know. I'm interested. Uh, I don't know. And, I, and that's crazy that that's a grad picture. Like, I looked young when I was, like, you look pretty young, but it's pretty safe to say you're like a fine wine, my friend. You're. I'm going to go better looking as you've gotten older. I'm definitely a Pinot. This is a <laughs> <laughs> You're a blend. <laughs> the the mashup that I see in front of me is yeah, what do you think? is Mike Myers. What do you think? And Anthony Davis of Mike the Myers Los Angeles Anthony Lakers. Davis. Yep. I am the brow. I am the, the brow. brow. I didn't dunk on, I didn't dunk on much, but I was the brow. The big poof. The big poof. You ain't the a player, waterfall you just dunk out a lot. the back. The big waterfall oh, slide out the back. It's but awesome. it's like an Afro mullet on a white yeah. dude. Like I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would work. <laughs> I hey, thought it would work. Sid, I gotta say, I give you a ton of credit for going with that coast to coast, man. That's awesome. Yeah, sometimes it's not my decision. <laughs> yeah. But really appreciate it. <laughs> but you know what? I want to challenge all my colleagues here at Rogers. Yeah, let's or, post or, all or our anywhere videos. else. Our, yeah. All our things. If, if I'm going down this road, yeah. I can't be the only one who had some quote unquote issues back <laughs> in the day. So, uh, Colby, if you want to join me, McAuliffe doesn't have a bad picture when he's young. McAuliffe does not have one of these pictures when he's young. I've seen them. I've seen the Ken Reed. McAuliffe came out of the womb like Clooney. Like he looked no, fantastic. There's some bad, there's some bad <laughs> Really? Yeah, I got some. Really? I'll bring, I'll, I'll get my worst one. I got but, a bad but, bowl cut. But your was your worst one is an eight compared to my to, to well, that. Not, photo yeah. Well, anyone compared to that. Is. Yeah, that so, is. Uh, so I challenge anyone here at Rogers, <laughs> Ken Reed. I'm awesome. looking at you. If you want to join yeah. in on readers this, is good. Go. Oh, was readers good? Oh, readers is really good. Have you seen readers, Colby? I haven't seen his. No. Oh, Do we really have it? Good. Does anyone have it? He'll uh, send it. Yeah, he's yeah, not. He's not shy. He doesn't work until ten. He'll send. Oh yeah, he has it. He has it. He has it. Hashtag grade eight challenge. Yeah, I like it. No, I like it. I really like it. Hashtag grade eight. This is me in grade eight, baby. And all you chirping awesome. on Twitter. Let's, let's do go. it. Let's see it. And all money raised will go to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So that we'll we'll let that filter on social media. We'll let that run a little bit. All right, Colby. Let's talk. There's so many hockey stories. Mm -hmm. Leafs. No. Um, um, Tampa Bay and the Leafs tonight on Sportsnet Ontario. My I posed a question to Tim earlier. Let's say the Leafs come out here and win four one five one. Does that change your mind at all about what we've seen here? Or has, is, is, is it so damaging what we've seen in the last week, last Thursday aside, that you can't change your mind on this crew right now? Well, I even think, like, I, I, cover, I watch Pittsburgh a lot. Like, I don't even think play, Pittsburgh played good in that game that they dominated, too. Like, they, they played really well. They controlled the game, controlled the puck, but Pittsburgh did not play good at all in that game. So, um, obviously, we're going to see if the sun is going to shine tonight on yeah. this team. And... Um, I think the big question mark, we've heard, uh, you know, Keith t talking post game. We've heard Muzzin. We have players saying all the right things, but it comes down to it, especially after the deadline. Like, what are you going to be? It's up to you guys. And I think I heard you guys talking about that, too. Like, you know, they got paid. They got their money. Uh, they got rid of the coach. You know, they changed the way they're going to play, and they look different. And this is the idea that the Leafs are, and this is what you are down the stretch at the most important time of the year. And how are you going to bounce back? So that's a big question. How are you going to bounce back against one of the best teams in the league? It, I, I said this earlier, and, and it might be among the more damning things that you could say to a hockey team, and I understand that. But the Leafs, to me, uh, show repeatedly that they're unwilling or incapable of working harder than the teams that work hard. Yeah. Would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I would agree. I, I think that they're... Like, a, they're skilled. They're skilled. They can skate. They do that very well. And they're but seduced when, by that. Yeah, but yeah. But then yeah. when you have to, like, win games or you have to, you know, maybe do something a little differently, it's out of their comfort zone um, for, I'd say, the core group or the big boys on their team to, to, to do that, right? Like, who's going who's gonna to change it? And that's why right now, like, Jake Muzzin has been so good. He, he can do that. He's been on L.A. teams. He's been – he's a guy that can – you know, provide that in his game. And, you know, I think that's why maybe Leaf fans or the hockey world was kind of waiting to see what Toronto was going to do 
uh, yesterday on the deadline, and you know we've seen even Tampa Bay go and add some of these like, you know, these spice guys and 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 uh, depth guys that provide a little bit more than what their core skilled stars are going to bring, and they look to address it. Colby Armstrong here on Tim and Sid Leafs and Tampa Bay Lightning Sportsnet Ontario. If you're in the uh, Southern Ontario region, that's where you can catch that tonight. If you're Sheldon Keefe, Colby, what do you tell this team before you go out there? Well, first of all, I'm going, thank goodness that we're on the road. Thank goodness we're out of there. We are gone for the trade deadline. Even if it's Tampa? Even if it's Tampa. <laughs> like, look, we've got... <laughs> Great point. We've got to be ready to play, and, and this is what's being said about us. This has to stop. And I've been on teams in the dressing room where, you know, after the deadline, we've been, you know... They've come down and talked to us and said, this is what we are. This is our idea of what we were going to play. This hasn't been good enough. We didn't do anything at the deadline. Muzzin got a nice contract extension. But this is what we are, the most important time of the year. It's up to you guys to get it done. Uh, and, that, and, and then we'll have to see where they respond. Because even like, I think even Dubas yesterday, I think everyone would agree, seemed kind of frustrated with, yeah. with you know, what was going on at his press conference and where this team sits at and trying to make it better and... Um, you know, I think deep down, though, he looks at his team and goes, oh, we got all these guys. Like, we got all the, we paid all these guys. We got all this skill. Like, this is, this is what I want our team to look like. This is what we're supposed to be, uh, and we're not getting it done. So, you know, we'll see down the stretch here if the idea, if the idea works this year. Um, I want to ask you about the new top line in Edmonton before we let you go. And mm -hmm. we've only got about a minute left with you. Are you surprised that Connor, I, listen, I know Connor McDavid is an unbelievable talent, but throw the two new guys on a line with him. Like I knew Athanasiu <laughs> was probably going to go there. Like, does that speak to how good McDavid is that they can just go, all right, here's the two new guys go. Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. I've seen it for years with Crosby. They just throw guys with him, and yeah, uh, he's been able to adjust. And I think just throw those guys with him with their skating and their speed. Uh, also skilled guys, too, that can make things happen. So, you know what? Throw them on the line. Let's see. Let's get it going uh, and, and see what these guys are able to do. And I think the Oilers have earned it, right? They've earned it through the way they've played this year. And, yeah, they're big boys. Uh, have carried much of the load and the question's kind of been when's it going to fall off there's no way they can keep this up and this team has battled hard enough for the for uh you know the organization to go let's let's get these guys some help we got to go provide something uh for this team so to add those guys like I, I like Tyler Ennis I really like him I played against him uh I'd say he's he's really quick in areas he's shifty he can make plays in tight areas and then obviously you have the speed of Athanasiu um, you know, he's, he's got McDavid game breaker speed. So I, I'm interested to see, but I think McDavid's the kind of guy you can put it with him. He's going to do his thing no matter what. He's that elite of a player uh, and kind of create a new line there. So that's why they went and got those guys. Picture perfect analysis from Thank Colby you. Armstrong. Picture at, perfect, you would know. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> we'll see if the Leafs are picture perfect tonight. Leafs and Bolts, Sports in Ontario coming this evening. Colby, have a good one, man. We'll be watching. All right. All right. Missed you guys. Thanks for having me on.